In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a Google Meet code to share to your students in your Seesaw journal. First, go to meet.google.com and click to start a meeting. Give your meeting a nickname. Click continue. This will create the Google Meet and also open your microphone access and camera access. In order to turn those off, you can click down here to turn off the microphone and to turn off the camera. You'd want to leave the camera on so your students can see your smiling face. For this demonstration, I'm turning mine off. No one's in the Google Meet right now, and I can join by clicking Join Now. But all I really need is the link for the Google Meet, which is up here in the URL bar. So I'm going to click and copy that URL. Now I'm going to go to my Seesaw Journal. In the Inbox section, I'm going to click to add a student announcement. I'm going to type my announcement here. And give students directions for my Google Meet. And then I'm going to paste the link below. I'll choose to send it to all my students and click send now. When you send the link to the Google Meet, it should be right before you expect students to join or you should join before the time that you're expecting them to join. So if you expect them to join at 10 o'clock, I recommend joining at least 15 minutes prior. If you're not the first one to join, you cannot kick students out as the teacher. You don't want a student to join first. The joining info can be found down here on the left hand side where you see the same link that you see up here in the URL. Again, the controls are down below to turn on the camera and unmute the microphone. If you have the Google Meet Grid View extension installed, it will appear automatically where you can turn on or off Grid View where you'll see everybody more like the Brady Bunch setup. Once the students have exited the Google Meet, you can end the call. Make sure all students have exited before you end the call. Once you click Leave Call, the meeting is done, and it's time to delete the link from your Seesaw class. Go back to Seesaw, back to your inbox, and in the three dots, delete the announcement. It's very important to delete this link so that students will not be able to access the Meet room after the teacher has left. Hopefully this helps you understand how to share joining info to your Google Meet with your students in your Seesaw class. Please reach out to your Instructional Technology Coordinator if you have any further questions. Have fun!